Hello mathematicians, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video I'm going to talk about integrating factors. Uh, an integrating factor is a useful tool for solving certain kinds of uh, differential equations. So for this video I'll be applying integrating factors mainly to first order ordinary differential equations. And I'll explain what an integrating factor is, uh, how do we find one and how do we actually use it. So let me begin with a, a simple example which doesn't necessarily need an integrating factor but hopefully that will give us a sense of uh, where we are heading. So let's say we want to solve a differential equation 2xy uh, dy upon dx plus y squared equals exponent 2x. Okay so we want to find the solution to this. Now the simplest method of uh, solving a differential equation is always to separate variables but if you look at this equation here this differential equation we can't actually separate variables we can't do that here so the next thing we always want to look out for is if uh, this differential equation has an exact path so if you actually look at the left hand side of this right here I should use another color so if you look at all this we can try to guess an exact differential uh, where this came from uh, so let's let's try that out let's see so i'll write here d dx so uh, the derivative with respect to x of some function here should be equal to uh, this I, I hope so that's what we are trying to to check if this is an exact differential equation uh, and of course there is uh, like a formal way of doing this to check uh, for exactness without having to guess uh, the exact differential but uh, stick with me here this is going to be helpful uh, for the examples that will follow so we have this right here and we can try to analyze and see if, if this has an exact differential so I can see x and y and then we have dy dx here which suggests that uh, this was kind of an implicit function sort of uh something like x y squared uh let's try that the reason i'm guessing this is because i see this and then i see 2y so uh, hopefully that clue could be helpful here so let's take the derivative of this using product rule of course so i keep x as a, a constant then i take the derivative of y squared that's going to be 2y uh, dy upon dx plus of course, I keep y squared as a constant, and then the derivative of x is 1. So that's 2xy dy dx plus y squared. And yes, that's what we have here on the left-hand side. So I can rewrite all this uh, equation again as follows. I just write this as the derivative with respect to x of xy squared equals exponent 2x so this right here is what we call the exact differential okay the exact differential for this expression here and from here we can now separate variables we know how to work with this so this uh the same as d uh, x y square I'm not sure if you can see this so i'm just going to write it up here hopefully so that's going to be d x y squared equals exponent of 2x dx and we can take integrals on both sides so we have x y squared equals the integral of this so i take the derivative of 2x which is 2 so i write 1 over 2 exponent 2x plus some arbitrary constant k and this here is the general solution to uh, the differential equation so there we have our solution so this didn't require an uh, integrating factor but let's let's go on with other examples and, and you'll see why I actually began with this so for our second example let's say we have to uh, solve the differential equation x y dy uh, divided by dx plus y squared equals 3x okay there we go now like we did previously let's try to find an exact differential for this expression over here on the uh, on the on the left hand side so try a few guesses and probably see if that's possible Let, let's try to see using the hints 
given in this expression, maybe. So we have like xy dy dx. Uh, well, could that have been like xy? Uh, of course, there's a squared here. Maybe something like this. Uh, let's see what this gives. This is 2xy dy over dx. Uh, plus y squared so this is not quite exactly this because we have this two right here and we don't have that two here so this can't be the one uh, let's try something else let's try maybe x squared y squared let's see what that gives us uh, of course it's very clear that y almost has to be squared by the way this right here uh, is not an x i meant to show that this will not work it's not an exact differential so let's try out with this here if we take the derivative of this that's x squared times 2y dy over dx plus okay so we keep y squared constant we take the derivative of x and we get 2x let me just clean this up a little so that's 2 uh, what's that okay 2x squared y uh, dy over dx plus 2xy squared maybe so let, let's look at this and compare it with what we have here and probably see if there are any similarities here now uh, let's see so i have y squared and then i have xy uh, okay we have a 2 here and here which can be factorized out so let's try to factorize out that 2x um, just get this color here so i factorize out 2x what do I have in here? I have xy dy divided by dx plus y squared. And, okay, should use this right here. And there we go. This is exactly what we have here. Now, the only difference is there is a factor of 2x uh, that, 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 that uh, is on this expression that we don't have on our original differential equation. And now this right here is what we call the integrating factor so this is the integrating factor for for this uh, uh specific differential equation and, and what this means is that instead of solving this right here which doesn't have an integrating factor, uh, sorry which is not exact so this right here is not exact is not exact and of course, it's not separable. So instead of solving this inexact differential equation, why not multiply it by a factor of 2x, which is the integrating factor in this case, to make it exact? So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to multiply this by 2x, and that's going to become 2x. Oops, I should use this color here. So that becomes 2x squared y dy dx plus 2xy squared of course i'm just copying this that that would be the same thing here if i multiply um uh, 2x on this side then 2x here that's going to become 6x squared so i already know this here uh has an exact differential which is the derivative of x squared y squared and this is 6x squared so now we have an exact differential. I should have mentioned that. So this right here is exact, and, and this is the, the, the exact differential of it. And now I can separate variables. So like we did previously, uh, dx squared y squared equals 6x squared dx. And if I take integrals, oops, integrals on both sides, I'll have x squared y squared equals what's that supposed to be 6x cubed divided by 3 okay that should be 2x cubed plus some arbitrary constant let's call it a and this right here is the general solution to our differential equation so an integrating factor uh, uh, using my own words i would say is a term or a factor it could be a num uh, a constant or an expression that has to be multiplied throughout the differential equation to make it exact and by the way this is not the first time i'm making videos about uh, integrating factors i will leave a link in the description to more videos where i talk about this uh there should also be a youtube card somewhere here to take you to some videos 
where I talk about uh, integrating factors. To wrap this up, let me just do one more example. All right, so for our third example, we'll solve the differential equation r uh, 6 squared theta plus 2 tan theta dr d theta equals 2r to the power minus 1. Okay, so here we go. Now, let's, uh, like we've done previously, let's check if there is an exact differential for this. Now, I know already that this is not uh, uh, an exact differential equation. So, what I'm going to try to do is to figure out something that is very close to this. So, let's begin taking guesses here. Let's say the derivative of, now, uh, looking at this, I have 6 squared which suggests that I have to have tan theta here because somewhere I have to have tan theta. I actually have another clue. I have tan theta in my uh, expression here. Then I have um, uh, an R here and the 2 here. So maybe that's R squared. That will bring the 2 and the R. Let, let's try this. Now, don't be afraid to make several trials. Uh, you, with experience, you can figure this out quickly, but at first it may be a little disturbing. So this is going to be, uh, if I take, I keep R squared constant, the derivative of tan theta is 6 squared theta. Uh, I keep tan theta constant, the derivative of R squared is 2R. Of course, this is with respect to theta. And, yep, this is very similar to this, except that I have uh, a factor of R. I can pull out here, so this becomes R sex squared theta plus 2 tan theta dr d theta, and there we have it right here. So our integrating factor in this case is R, so this is the integrating factor. Again, if we multiply this, okay, if we multiply this equation here by R, by R on both sides, of course, it should become exact. So let, let's go ahead and do that. So if you multiply R on the on the left hand side, just uh, use this here. So if you multiply R here, that would be of course R squared, six squared theta plus two R uh, tan theta dr d theta. Okay, that should be equal to two because uh, of course, this this is uh, two r to the minus one. So if I multiply that by r, that's what we have. Okay, so of course we already know this right here has an exact differential. So that's the uh, the derivative of r squared sec. I know that was not sec. Uh, that was uh, that was not sec. It was tan theta. Okay, this equals two, and now we can separate variables. So this right here equals 2 dr, and if I take integrals on both sides, we'll have r squared tan theta should be equal to 2r two plus some constant, say b, and this right here is our general solution to this differential uh, equation. So there we have it. Now I should mention this method of finding an integrating factor is a sort of a, a method of inspection and it works pretty well for all uh, ordinary differential equations that are inexact but there is a shortcut method for uh, um, lin first order linear exact differential equations. Uh, no, did I say it right? Sorry, first order linear differential equations. Yes, so there's a shortcut method and I made a video about that. I will put a YouTube card somewhere for that and a link to that video in the description so you can find more about it. So I don't want to make this video longer. Let me just cut it from here. If you want me to make content about certain topics also feel free to reach me via the Google form in the description of this video or just leave a comment. I'll try to read that and, and uh, respond as much as I can or make content that you request. For now, bye.